win mean? And what was it like to see your team kind of rally, especially there in the second half with the full group and Jaron Jackson Jr. back in that starting lineup? Yeah, great bounce back win by our guys. Um, you know, obviously addressed a lot of stuff last couple of days this morning about, you know, getting back to our standard, you know, finding consistency. You know, uh, we got a lot more games to figure it out and uh, accomplish that. But tonight was a great, you know, first step after a tough one the other night in Detroit. You know, I thought we had a great defensive edge uh, against a very competitive team uh, in the Raptors, you know, outside of the first quarter, win all three quarters. I thought our defensive activity was phenomenal. Um, our execution was really good. You know, there obviously those stretches there where we couldn't get a rebound, you know, and we kind of paid the price there. But I thought for the most part, we we're really good. Game plan, discipline, um, mostly our habits are really good. And then offensively, we found a really good groove. Um, obviously, JJ had a really good start there in, in that first quarter, had a really good game overall. But I thought the ball move was good. You know, the, their whole design is to trap you, frustrate you, speed you up, play zone, funky defenses. Um, and we just found a way to just stay calm and poised and make the simple play, simple pass. Had a lot of great looks that didn't fall, but got enough to fall tonight to get a victory. Drew Hill. Yeah, Taylor, just to expand on that, uh, your thoughts on how Jaron looked with the starters, especially next to Jonas. Yeah, you know, first time uh, we did this this season and uh, I thought the guys really responded well. You know, I, you know, talked to them about, you know, they've got to help elevate him and he's got to help, help elevate them. You know, obviously making these changes late in the season, but I thought the guys really responded well, came out to a really good start. Um, as I mentioned just a moment ago, great defensive activity. I thought, you know, our shifts, getting hands on balls uh, from a combination of guys, obviously JJ doing that throughout the game. Um, and then offensively, you know, just guys making a simple play, you know, playing a little bit different roles to start the game. And then we changed up the lineups, you know, throughout the game to get guys more on what they've been playing over the course of the season. So finding that balance, um, I thought the guys really responded well and started really well, uh, both halves. Terry Davis. How you doing, Coach? Good, Terry. How are you? Hey, Coach, with only five games left, uh, how do you develop that consistency, you know, try to improve your seating in the Western Conference standing? Yeah, just take take this one day at a time. Um, you know, that's been our, you know, uh, philosophy all season long. Um, you know, this time of year challenges you and tests you to really embrace that, not change who you've been all season long uh, in terms of your standards and your habits. That's what we keep drilling our guys with. So, you know, we'll take a day tomorrow, enjoy our Mother's Day and, and love on, you know, our wives and our moms and our grandmothers and uh, those closest to us. And then, you know, regroup. We got a, you know, really tough schedule, right? A little road dense schedule, four and five coming up at home. Uh, you know, some really good opponents. So we just got to be ready to keep embracing this challenge one day at a time and, and uh, you know, just doing it together. Joe Mullinax. <laughs> Coach, congratulations on the win. Obviously, with Jaron's insertion into the starting lineup, rotation changes came from that. John Conchar played a little bit in the first half, not as much in the second. Was that more of a feel for the game kind of process? Were you planning on going to a tighter rotation in the second half? How did that play out as the game went on? Yeah, and, you know, the initial plan is to go with a 10-man rotation, and, you know, then it became a feel, um, you know, as the game got a little bit closer there, end of the third, going to the fourth, and, um, so that was just a feel reaction. You know, John played really well against Detroit, uh, gives us a really good uh, boost. So um, obviously, as we go into the schedule, I'm trying to be very mindful of not trying to overextend our guys uh, with a whole lot of minutes. I know, you know, job, you know, DB playing a lot of minutes and, you know, just trying to be smart there with a four and five coming up and five and seven. And um, so that, that was just kind of the gut feel in the game. Evan Barnes. Taylor, um, two things. One, you mentioned how you wanted to see how Jaron was playing before you moved into the starting line. What did you see these last few games that had you confident with the way he's been progressing over, over this time? And with the back-to-back -back now coming up, have you, have you decided kind of you're going to stick to that plan of rest one, go for the next? Yeah, I mean, I just think this every, you know, game he was getting better. Um, I thought, you know, the stretches he was playing in terms of handling the workload was probably the first thing, just making sure, um, you know, we, we could be mindful of his minutes and, and what loads he could, you know, handle. And as I've said all along, just him continuing to be aggressive, you know, just getting acclimated, you know, back into the flow of the game, flow with his teammates. Uh, you know, we, we threw him out there with a lot of different combinations in his first couple of games, you know, uh, different bigs to play with, different smalls to play with. So just trying to gather that sample size and just gain that confidence and ultimately, you know, uh, knowing that, you know, this was important uh, to get him back in the starting line, the impact he can make for our group and, and know that even after how we start, you know, what lineups we can play after that. So definitely an adjustment. I thought everyone embraced it well. It's what they've been doing all season long. We've had a lot of different lineups over the course of the season. And as we get into, you know, the back-to-backs, we're just going to keep talking with the medical staff, understanding what's the best course of of action for him and uh, we'll make those decisions kind of you know one game at a time. Dick Scanlon. Yeah coach I'm I'm a little bit out of the loop here. What is what exactly is it that you did for the first time this season? Start the two big guys at the start of the season? 
you know, I you you mentioned before it's the first time we did it this season. You mean you mean yeah, I mean Jaron. It was the first time we started Jaron with JV. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yep. I got you. Thank you. Yep. Last question, Adam Ty. Hey, Coach, one last follow-up on, on Jaron. You closed with DeAnthony Melton in over J.J., who racked up a season high in minutes. Was that sort of a product of any minutes restriction on Jaron or just a matter of rolling with what worked and not messing with a good thing? Yeah, I mean, I, it, it was just a gut feel, you know, third quarter, fourth quarter. Um, you know, there was an opportunity for him to potentially come back. You know, uh, you know, we're still not trying to extend his minutes too, too far. Um, but obviously, Melk got hot right there. I thought that group gave us a good boost, kind of helped build a lead. Um, so sometimes it's, you know, just kind of that gut feel at that time. Um, but really proud of what JJ did tonight and continue to find opportunities for, you know, to him to make impacts over the course of 48 minutes. Thanks, Coach. Great. Thanks, everybody.